Hi, I'm Katie with Panagrams and Digital Heat Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to make a personalized tote bag. The first thing we're going to do is print the graphic that we've chosen from any vector graphic program and send it to the printer. This is the graphic I'm going to use. It's a K for Katie. The great thing about this printer is that you can print as many colors as you want in any graphic. There's not going to be any additional setup, like in screen printing. This, color, this graphic happens to have three colors, but it could have 12 or 15 or 100, and it could already be done with one sheet, no extra setup. I'm going to send the job to the printer, and then we can move ahead to the marrying step. Now I have my finished transfer that I've printed and I am going to move on to the marrying step. This is gonna be the same across the board uh, all the time. The only thing that's gonna differ in putting a transfer on various items is the application. This part is always gonna be the same. All right, I've got my press at 280. I'm gonna close it for 120 seconds. As soon as my 120 seconds are up, I am going to peel the papers apart in a smooth, even motion. The most important part of this step is to keep the printed A foil flat to this bottom platen to keep it warm. You can see the white opaque polymer from the B paper came off and is now applied to our transfer. Here is my finished transfer. I've cut it apart from the other one. And I'd just like you to notice that I do have two transfers. I created them on one page. And now I can do both the front and the back of my bag with one sheet of paper. So if you notice, I have the swing away function engaged on my heat press here. When I was doing the marrying step, I used the draw function, but because I want to put the bag on here, I'm going to use the swing away so my straps don't get caught in here. This press is great because it's what's called threadable because I can put a t-shirt or a bag or whatever I want around it and under here is open. Gonna make sure this is nice and flat. Center my transfer. Cover with parchment. Swing the heat press back. I'm gonna close it and press this at 280 for 30 seconds. 30 seconds are up. I'm going to open the press and swing it away to remove my bag from the heat press. I'm going to set this aside till it cools and then we can peel the transfer paper and reveal our finished transfer. This is cooled down now, so I am ready to peel off the backing foil. And now I have an applied transfer. It's very shiny right now. And because this bag is not going to be washed, I could leave it like this. But because I don't want it to be shiny, I'm going to put it back in the heat press, cover it with parchment, and press it again for the finishing step to take away the shine and get a matte finish. For the finishing step, I'm going to load my bag back onto my heat press. Cover with parchment. For this finishing step, again, because this is not being washed, it can be very short. So I'm just gonna do five seconds. And now, I have a finished, personalized tote bag. 
This has been Katie with Panagrams and Digital Heat FX, making this custom personalized tote bag using the OT920 WT white toner laser printer and Digital Heat FX laser easy peel transfer paper.